Hi, I'm Lord Tony, and I'm fresh off of Pico CTF 2024, and now that it's not considered leaking flags, I'm going to make a video for how to solve SANS Alpha, which is probably the highest point uh, problem that I was able to solve during the CTF. So let's just get right into it and start up an instance. So the idea with SANS Alpha here is they give us this little server, and get into it, put in the username and password and all that jazz. Uh, yep, fingerprinting, sure, sure. Get the password. Maybe I should have done this from the get-go. But you get into this server here, and what happens is uh, you can't type anything like letters. They let you type all the numbers, but uh, as soon as you type a letter, it gives you unknown character detected. Now, all of this stuff is, is here. You've got like a full-on SSH thing. They just cancel out letters. So we basically have to find a flag on this server, figure out how to read it, and do that without being able to type. I think forward slash is also banned here. Yeah, oh, so forward slash, forward slash. Is it forward slash or backslash? Yeah, backslash is the uh, is the band character. So aside from letters and backslashes, we got whatever you want. But how do you even run commands when you're not allowed letters? So I was thinking, uh, well, maybe what I can do is something I saw in a live overflow video, which was he did forward slash question mark question mark question mark and tried to basically match all of the files from the root node that happened to match this pattern so when I hit enter doing this I saw that we ended up uh, like with these wildcard matches I end up hitting bin awk and you know there's a bunch of other ones here too like that was bin bash extra bin arc with an extra operand bin bash and I, I didn't know what all that stuff meant at first but eventually I figured it out and we'll, we'll go into that so just digging around I found that the folder I was in right now if uh, if I searched for folders with a five character or files with a five character or maybe it was six characters let's try six six there we go. There's a folder in here with me called blarg. And then inside of that folder called blarg, there's another folder, or there, there, there's the flag right here. I've got permission denied. Uh, I stuck that wildcard in there. So maybe that's the only file in here? I don't know. I'm not really advanced enough to figure that out. But uh, going back to this awk thing, uh, let's go into a normal uh, Linux instance here, and let's mess around with awk. So in this file, oh well, this isn't the file I was expecting to see. Let's see, pico ctf cd awk. Okay, here's a file I've prepped, and all there is is a flag in here. So let's zoom in a little bit. So if I were to cat out the flag file, you see that we got that. But uh, one of the things you can do in awk is you can say awk and then maybe pass in a little command like, I don't know, you can say begin and then, I forget exactly the syntax for awk, but you can say something like this. And it's dollar zero and we can pass in flag.txt. Is that gonna work? Ah, uh, no. Oh, right. Need to close this off. No. Is it begin equals? Okay, well, I forget the long form way to do this, but generally uh, with awk, you have to pass in some program and then pass a file for awk to parse. But I realized awk has some crazy shorthand. You can just type this kind of thing here, and it can be used like cat. You can just say awk and then dollar zero, and so I guess that's like the first parameter. And this shorthand, I, I don't even really know how it works, but after fiddling with awk for a little bit, I was able to get that. And with a star for like an uh, for for like an autocomplete or an autofill or whatever, a wild card, you can call awk with. Uh, all of that stuff and get it to sp spit out a flag. So I thought what I could do is I could go in here and since I already had awk, I could say, all right, so this is how we got awk and then I pass in that same thing with no characters and then pass in that path to where I know the flag happens to be. 
but I get this whole thing, invalid operation bin awk. And I was thinking, why is it doing that? And then I realized like how that question mark actually works. Even though we're only seeing this whole thing, bin awk, when you put in the, those question marks there, every single file that matches that pattern is here. So even though bin awk is the first one and it's being treated like a command, we're actually getting a huge list of these things. So whatever's coming in after awk is being passed in as a parameter to awk, and we can't do that. So my thought was, well, what if I can just take this parameter right here and then you know split it up into uh, an array, and then I can call bin awk like that, and there will be no additional parameters. So I started trying to do that. And I was thinking, well, we can create an environment variable. So I just went with underscore, underscore, underscore. And one of the ways that in, I guess, shell, uh, shell code you can create an array is like that. So I guess I could probably do like one, two, three or something. And I wonder if that even works. Let's see. What is one? Is that the letter one? Okay, command not found. All right, it doesn't seem to like that. Let's uh, let's see. Is that gonna work? Ah, I won't worry about that too much uh, right this second. But I happen to know the command in order to make this whole thing work. What it was is I went with three underscores trying to create an environment variable and I did those two little brackets in order to... Oh, was it brackets? Maybe it was curlies. I don't know. Let's figure it out here. So what I did is that same thing where I took this and this output here is coming into the errors. And so bin bat, like uh, if you try to create a, uh, if you try to create an environment variable using this sort of no notation, it only uses standard output. But we want to capture uh, error output. So what we do is we go two greater than and one. And what that'll do is that'll redirect stream two, which is the error, to stream one, which is the standard output. So if I do this, I think what we have now, what we have now may be, what did, we, what did we get? Command not found. Hmm. Okay, so didn't find that command. What do we got? Command not found. Command not found. Oh, uh, do I need curlies here? Ooh, bash does, does. Ooh, what is this? Zero. Warning. One. Okay, one. Apt. It's like, wait a second, apt? No, no, like, uh, that can't be possibly right. What we have here, it should say bin.awk. And this is the problem I struggled with for a while. Because somehow I've opened the program apt when this really should be, if it splits that string properly, if it splits the string the way I'm thinking, this really should be the word invalid. And so number three should be bin.awk, but instead I'm getting apt. So after messing around a little bit longer, what I realized was when I was trying to do this, I was uh, redirecting some kind of input. So I don't know, let's, uh, where should I even put this? Uh, to, to same, same sort of place. I was trying to dir direct, oh yeah, I was trying to just create some kind of file like this. And when I tried to do that, then I got warning apt does not have stable CLI interface. Use with caution in scripts. And then after that, I got the bin awk thing. So that must be what my environment variable is now. And I wonder if I can even print that out. Okay, command not found. So now let's try to actually call awk, because position one was apt. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So about 17 should give us, should give us awk now. And usage, im awk. Well, that's close enough. So let's try it. Let's try that thing we put in where we say the dollar zero in order to use awk as though it was, uh, as though it was cat, and then what do we say? Six question marks and then a star. Bam! We got it. Here's the flag. How wild that was. Now, I made it look real fast here, but 
I think this took me like four hours the first time to bump around and figure this out. And I even found some questions on Reddit that were trying, that were like, hey, if you can't use backslashes and letters, uh, how do you send commands to bash? And then all of the comments were like, you're trying to get an answer for Pico CTF without figuring it out yourself. But me, well, I was looking it up too, so I don't really blame the guy. But this is how you do it. You, uh, you abuse the errors it gives you to pull out characters and pull out letters until you can run commands with this bizarro command substitution thing right here. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. Uh, enjoy your hacking, hackers.